made it through there. Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, I'm in Vermont. So we just got New Hampshire and Maine. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to June 27th. Hi guys, yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, my name is Spark. And I'm Sauce. <laughs> and we are Noble Through Hikers. Noble Flip Floppers. Flip Floppers. And we do like sometimes 10 and sometimes 20 miles a day. We have never done 20 miles. <laughs> <laughs> we average, I think, 15 now. Yeah, right. something like that. About 15. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm from Minnesota. Like and I'm from, from Denver. Yeah. Yeah. So and so good. How, so when did y'all start? Uh, I started May 4th and I started May 6th. Oh, ah, that's yeah. great, you guys. And you're going to go to Maine and then you're going to go back down to Harpers Ferry and yes. go all the way south. Exactly. Oh, that's good y'all. God and, willing. And the puppy's going with you with no problems. The puppy goes with me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the best hiker on the All right, well, thank you guys. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Wow. Nice. Well, there went the last load of hikers. They just headed out. It's uh, 8 a.m. I'm still here at the hostel and what a beautiful hostel it is. Um, but I'm waiting for a package and that's not till 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna check the package at 10 o'clock and then I'll know what I'm gonna do for today. And I'm hoping that I can get the package and go into town and get it and then get back on the trail and maybe put in 10 miles a day or something. We'll see. And I was just informed that I have another package. It's 50 miles away, but it won't be there for a couple of days. So I have to slow the heck down a little. We'll see. Okay, so it's 1.30 and I'm at the McDonald's waiting to get picked up to go to the trailhead. But the town fathers here have decided they want to make the road smaller so traffic is backed up from all well I got my package it's two o'clock I am back on the AT with whoo, heavy pack heavy pack close to 30 pounds um, there was a trail angel right there thing he had a PBR so I drank a PBR and talked with him for a while since I just, I'm just going a little ways up Mount Bromley here. Uh, his name was Well Soiled Machine. Here's a picture. And uh, now I'm going up Bromley. And my understanding is you need to get water here because about three miles in, and then there's an eight mile stretch where they don't have water. And I don't know, they all just told me. But I think they have a water drop on the other side of Bromley, which is about where I'm going, I think, today. I think that's about 10 miles, something like that. We'll see. So I have my new shoes on, which are my oboes. They're little, they feel actually really good. Uh, I talked to customer service at Keen, and turns out they do a year warranty on their shoes, which is pretty good. I uh, went ahead and filled out the information at their website, and I think what's gonna happen is they'll give me a uh, code to get a like amount of product from their website or something, which is fine with me. Uh, you know, I mean, the shoe did kind of come apart in 100 miles. It wasn't nowhere near a year, I'll tell you that. Uh, but I'm sure it was just that one shoe. We'll see. We'll know soon enough, right? Anyway, so I got new shoes. 
Hopefully I won't fall all the time now. And uh, all I gotta do is eat, eat my way out of this pack. <sighs> and I have my smart wool layer together in case it gets cold. But that's not a problem today because it's not cold today. The mud is still here. And it'll probably, I've been watching uh, a couple of videos from YouTube on the people in front of me. And uh, yeah, mud's gonna be with us for a while. <laughs> My brother has sent me new my old poles ahead about 50 miles. So today is Thursday. I'm not sure when they're supposed to get to the next city. Or even what the next city's name is, I forget. But it's 50 miles away. I'm hoping I don't have to wait there, but I will find out soon enough. And he also sent me a phone charger. <laughs> and more food, I think, a little bit. Can't help. Got to feed the starving hiker, I think. <laughs> Because, of course, Virginia sent some food, too. <sighs> We're going to walk over to Brumley. And look at the vista. It's a vista, a little blue trail. I've got 7.8 miles left today. It's 3 o'clock. I've only been walking for about an hour. So, yeah, why not? <clears throat> the great state of Vermont. So this is a nice field that uh, the AT and the Long Trail go to the top of Mount Bromley in this open area. I'm sure it turns off up here. And I think that goes to the top. Steep, open, hot. But that's how it works. And the wind is making it better. And it's blue skies, so good. Whew.
black flies bit me in the ear. The sucker. Oh, look, there's a privy. Great. And there's an area up here to stay. If I were so inclined, kind of forgot where the road is. <laughs> road. Oh, there it is. AT. Oh. There. So you can stay up here. They have that enclosed area that you can stay for the day. We walk up here. There's no water up here, of course, but I got full water. I could just stay. Go down tomorrow. It's 3.30. You know what? I'm inclined to do that. Yep. Why not? Explore all this up here. Well, that's what those pipes are. Those pipes are for blowing snow, ice and snow, on the trail. <laughs> Bromley Ski Patrol, in memory of Nadine and Justin. So there is a place to stay here. There's just no water. We made the shelf the prop, prop possible. Thank you, Nadine. Huh. I bet they have no power. Yep, that's what it is. There's another hiker right behind me. Huh. And there is power up here. Well, that's the Long Trail and the Appalachian Trail, and it heads north. And north goes out that way. And we will turn probably at that mountain and then go this way until we're over there, which is um, whatever the next state is. Just keep going until you see that really big mountain out there. Us. New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs>